Professor for the Public Understanding of Science, Richard Dawkins, joins us now. Good afternoon. Hello. This uh, clearly seems to back you up. It's no secret that Einstein was an atheist. I mean, there are lots of famous quotations. For example, he said, It was, of course, a lie what you read about my religious convictions, a lie which is being systematically repeated. I do not believe in a personal God, and I have never denied this, but have expressed it clearly. That's typical of the sort of things he said. So this new letter, although it's very interesting, doesn't say anything we didn't already know. There's a lot of confusion, though, isn't there, about the kind of way he used the word God? Yes, he was very fond of using the word God, but he used it as a kind of metaphor for the deep mysteries at the root of physics and the root of the cosmos. So he liked to use the word God, but he was absolutely clear that by God he did not mean what religious people mean by God. It was a kind of poetic usage. He meant that we have to have a kind of reverence and awe for the universe. He most certainly didn't mean we had to believe in a, in a supernatural creator of any kind. In the time that he was writing, he was actually taken to task by religious people who didn't think that he was strong enough on religion. He had quite a lot of hate mail from religious people who correctly recognized that Einstein was an atheist and attacked him for it. Why do you think now it matters so much whether he was or was not an atheist? Well, it shouldn't really matter because the arguments will stand or fall on their merits. You can't argue by authority by saying that some very clever person believes something. Nevertheless, people are inevitably influenced when somebody very clever says something. Professor Dawkins, thank you very much indeed for coming on to the programme.